So it seemed like there were some troubles last night on homework for problem number eight. So I'd like to try to resolve those problems now. Well, you're being asked to use the graph to estimate solutions for the inequalities and equations in part A through F. Then use symbolic reasoning to check your estimates. That is a mouthful. Here's what they want to do. They want to cement the idea that a solution to a system of equations is where two lines intersect. And then, this question is also going to ask you to solve symbolically, that is using train tracks or solving linear equations, so that you can see that there are more than one way to solve these. And we're also going to connect it with the idea of an inequality. And what does that mean in terms of the graph? Because the next investigation, all of investigation four, is going to be graphing linear inequalities. So we're not going to be graphing inequalities on a number line. We'll be graphing them on a four-quadrant grid. So that's why th this question is here. It talks about what we've done in the past, and it talks about what we're going to do in the future. So in that regard, it's a good question. It's just very awkwardly worded. So if you look at question A, we have this expression is greater than this expression here, which is a little bit confusing until I look up at this graph. And I notice that I have four equations, and each equation has, or each line has an equation written right next to it, so I know the equation of each line. Okay, so is there an equation that looks similar to this? And the answer is yes, there is. It's this purplish line. Is there an equation that looks like this? It's the blue line. So what this is really asking you is where do the blue and the purple lines cross? And right, right, and, and that most people didn't realize that, and that makes sense. So these lines intersect right here at 7.5 comma 2. OK. So we know the lines intersect at 7.5 comma 2. And now we're adding the extra part of the greater than symbol. So we want to know when is this equation greater than this equation. And clearly, I can see that from here on this way, the purple line is above the blue line. Therefore, it's greater. So. I can safely say that this is a true statement, looking at the graph, when x is greater or equal to, or sorry, there's no equal to, so I'm getting rid of my equal to. Actually, you know, I'll just use an eraser so that no one is confuzzled. Confuzzled is such a wonderful word. We have 7.5. And that's just by looking at the graph. Now, it also says to solve symbolically, so I'll do that. So we have 0.4x minus 1 is greater than 2. Add 1, add 1. So 0.4x is greater than 3. So 0.4 is the same as 2 fifths, right? 2 fifths. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 2 fifths, and I'll get 15 halves. So x is greater than 15 halves halves, well, that's the same as 7.5. So x is greater than 7.5. So here, here's your answer. And so now I've solved symbolically, and I've confirmed it on the graph. Let's take a look at another one. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at, uh, so I want to look at one that I haven't used any of the equations for. So I'm going to look at e now. So I'm not going to do all of them because it's going to be the same process six times. I don't think that you need that six times. But twice is probably not a bad idea. So I'm going to erase this. And so we have negative 1.5x plus 3. Which color corresponds with that? Green. Pink. Or it might be red in the book. I don't know. Whatever. So we have this equation here. Excellent. And it is equal to, uh, actually, I'm going to do f, I'm going to do f, because I want to keep the sign so we have the same discussion. Um, oh, shoot, but I've already used that equation. D? OK, fine, I'll do D. I'll do D. 
So we're still looking at the red equation. And this is less than negative 3. So which color goes with that one? Green. 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 So this is the green. And this one's, we're going to call it red because it has less letters than pink. Every letter counts. So where do those two lines cross? At 4, negative 3. All right, so they cross at 4, comma, negative 3. And we want the red line to be less than the green line. And that occurs after x is equal to 4 because the line is below. So let's confirm symbolically. So we have negative 1.5x plus 3 is less than negative 3. Subtract 3, subtract 3. So I get negative 1.5x is less than negative 6. What's the opposite of multiplying by? Uh, so we'll divide by negative 1.5 divide by negative 1.5, and danger, we're dividing by negative, so we're going to have to flip the sign. So we flip the sign and we'll get x is equal to, and negative divided by negative is a positive, positive. so we get positive 4. Oh, so x has to be greater than 4 for us to have the pink line below the green line. And that's what it's asking you to do in this problem. Identify the point of intersection in the graph, and then solve symbolically to verify that you found the x value. Okay.